Mexico has this year registered its highest murder total since modern records began, according to official data, dealing a fresh blow to President Enrique Peña Nieto's pledge to get gang violence under control. A total of 23,101 murder investigations were opened in the first 11 months of this year, surpassing the 22,409 registered in the whole of 2011, figures published by the Interior Ministry showed. The figures go back to 1997. Mr. Peña Nieto took office in December 2012 pledging to tame the violence that escalated under his predecessor Felipe Calderón. He managed to reduce the murder tally during the first two years of his term, but since then it has risen steadily. At 18.7 per 100,000 inhabitants, the 2017 Mexican murder rate is still lower than it was in 2011 when it reached almost 19.4 per 100,000, the data showed. The rate has also held below levels reported in several other Latin American countries. According to UN figures used in the World Bank's online database, Brazil and Colombia both had a murder rate of 27 per 100,000, Venezuela 57, Honduras 64 and El Salvador 109 in 2015, the last year for which data are available. The U.S. rate was 5 per 100,000. In 2015, Australians Adam Coleman and Dean Lucas were on a surfing trip in Mexico when it is believed they were attacked by gangsters, shot, and their van set alight on a rural road in an area of Siloa that is home to a powerful drug cartel. Still, Mr. Peña Nieto's failure to contain the killings has damaged his credibility and hurt his centrist Institutional Revolutionary Party, PRI which faces an uphill struggle to hold on to power in the July 2018 presidential election. The law bars Mr. Peña Nieto from running again. The current front-runner in the race, leftist Andrés Manuel López Obrador, has floated exploring an amnesty with criminal gangs to reduce the violence, without fleshing out the idea. Mexican newspaper reformer said that after a campaign stop in the central state of Hidalgo on Friday, local time, Mr. López Obrador again addressed the issue when asked whether talks aimed at stopping the violence could include criminal gangs. There can be dialogue with everyone. There needs to be dialogue and there needs to be a push to end the war and guarantee peace, reformer quoted Mr. López Obrador as saying. Such a strategy harbors risks for the former Mexico City mayor. A poll this month showed that two-thirds of Mexicans reject offering an amnesty to members of criminal gangs in a bid to curb violence, with less than a quarter in favor. Separately, Mr. López Obrador said on Saturday he would get rid of Mexico's intelligence agency size if he won the July election, calling it an unnecessary expense. We're not going to monitor anybody, we're not going to spy, we're not going to listen to phone calls or hack phones to get files and photos, he said in the central town of Tezatepec. Reuters